Do you believe at this point in time for Charlo, he's just looking for a payday? It's a possibility. I mean, he's he in his 12th. How old is he now? What was that? How old is he now? Um, he's 33 years old. It's, it's, it's time to look for some paydays. You know what I mean? Smart move. Get the money and get, get out the green. Right, right. He had a nice, smooth, eight pay figure payday. Um, you know, and then calling out uh, Terrence Crawford right after. Was that a sign of just wanting a payday? Uh, he might think it can be time, you know? Yeah? Yeah, he might think it can be time. What you believe? <laughs> I think Terrence is, I think Terrence is at the mouth. Yeah. He, he, Terrence is slick, man, smooth. He real technical, real smart, you know? I mm. Yeah. I like Charlo, though. I just right now I think Terrence is at the mouth. You're a little away from the camera, coach. Yeah, I think Charlo has him out. I mean, I'm trying to add him out. Yeah. Um, you know, as far as, you know, Terrence Crawford is concerned, um, you know, a lot of people believe that Terrence Crawford has the skills to be Canelo Alvarez, but we kind of also seen that, you know, um, moving up three weight divisions is, is, is quite of a task. It's, it's quite of an uphill battle. Um, that being said, you know, when it comes down to Terrence Crawford being 37 now, um, do you believe that he can possibly fight a better fight than Jamal? I think he's 36. I think he's 36. Yeah, I think he's, he got better defense, better game plan, fight inside, better fight inside, outside. I think he got a better chance. You think he has a better chance? Yeah, he got a, yeah, he will show more heart in the fight, too. The only thing is, he can take the shot from uh, Charlo. Canelo. I mean, Canelo. Just, he got the skills to beat him, but he got to be able to take that shot, you know? How about catching the shot from Canelo Alvarez? Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Because obviously, getting a clean shot from Canelo, you're probably going to go night night well. Yeah, he got to be able to take the shot. If he can take the shot, then he, he's good as far as his skill level, you know? Do you, you know? Crawford is strong, man. Huh? Crawford is strong. You know, strong is, is one thing. Durability is another, right? Yeah, yeah. That's true. Hey, he, he got durability, though. I seen him, I seen him, I seen him, you know, in camp. I seen him work in camp with big guys. You know, did. Look at Coach Calvin with his shirt off. <laughs> hey, hey, you getting in shape, man? I don't know what he up to something. You know, he, he up to something now. Yeah, he up to something. Um, you know, nevertheless, when we, when we talk about some of these um fights that you know intrigue you the most, when it comes down to Canelo Alvarez, um. Who would you like to see him fight next? And does Jamal Charlo, the older brother, does he even have a chance? Yeah, he got a chance. I, I, but I didn't want to see him fight next. He went up to 175 and lost to Bibbo. Bibbo told him I'll come down to your weight class and fight again. Fight. So that's the fight you want to see? I want to see. You want to see Canelo Alvarez and Bibbo? Yeah. Um, do you think, uh, you know, Bivo, you know, Dropping seven pounds could possibly be um, a big factor for a Canelo win, or do you believe it probably be the same thing? I think it'll be the same thing. He got over twenty four hours to put that weight back on, a little more than twenty four hours. You know, one thirty some hours. It ain't. It won't affect him. Right, right. Um, now when it comes down to David Benavidez, um. Is that a fight that you would rather see versus a Jamal Charlo? Yeah. Yeah, I think if he would have fought Benavidez Saturday night, it would have been a different story. Mm. Now, if Canelo Alvarez was, is victorious in the David Benavidez fight, what would you have to say about Canelo, Canelo Alvarez? 
Because you did fight. You did say he's a weight, you know, he tries to fight people at lower weights. This would be a complete game changer. Fight, Vivo. Put the icing on the cake. Mmm. Mmm. He been in there. If he be been there, fight, Vivo. Put the icing on the cake. Right. He did enough stuff in his career. Let's, let's, let's cap his career off with some wins with some big boys. Right. Um. And you favor who in that fight? Bimbo? Oh, no. Oh, Benavides and, and Canelo. I'll go with Canelo. I mean, Benavides. Benavides? What's the, you know, as far as uh, obviously styles make fights, what do you see in that matchup that uh, makes uh, David Benavides victorious? He's bigger and, and, and just as strong, if not stronger. Is it the is it the punch the punch output? Do anything. It's the punch output and his size. He, he, you know, oh. Benavidez got the two hundred pounds. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. That's a good. He's bigger and stronger, I think. Mm. Who who packs the bigger punch? You know, David Benavidez or Canelo Alvarez? You believe? Sure, I gotta let one of them hit me. Let one of them hit me. That makes sense, right? right? <laughs> that makes sense. Um, you know, honestly, it seems to me that, you know, Canelo Alvarez might be the biggest puncher at 168 pounds. What, what do you think? I don't know, man. I haven't seen him fight. Solid middleweight in the mm-hmm. last, 15, last 15, 20 fights. They were all blown up dudes, you know? Mm. But, you know middleweight. Mm. You may, may go at 10 to 15 fights. I guarantee you get six or seven of them coming from 54 or 47 at the end of the rule. So he looked like a big punch. Like but that's, the, that's he's, he's coming off of 40. Huh? He started he just, his, his pro career at 140 pounds. I missed that. When he fought, I thought he was at 54. Mm-mm. He fought. He fought guys like you know Cotto, you know some of the more of the notable names. Yeah. But remember, he started his pro career around 18 years old. Oh yeah, he started a young young buck. I forgot. But um, but he fought Cotto. He was 54 or 60. Uh, I think I'm 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 thinking it was 54. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm thinking it might have been 60 though. Yeah. Cotto Cotto wasn't a real 160 pounder right. though. I can't say he's the biggest puncher. I haven't seen him in there with nobody that that one sixty that punching back. That's fighting him back. Mm. He get past he get past Benavidez and Bevo. He's a big puncher. Mm. <laughs> and uh, would you would you have to say after this performance that we have seen this Saturday? Do you do you respect uh, a little bit more of Canelo Alvarez's game, or it's kind of the same for you? It's the same. It's the same. They could fight. I don't know if they can right to fight, but I don't see the dog in them. Mm. Oh, you don't see the dog in, in Canelo? No. No. I don't see no dog. I, fight Benavidez. He got to bring the dog out. Mandatory. He got to bring the dog out. If he got some dog in him, it's going to come out in Benavidez when Benavidez fight him. What would you say... If Canelo Alvarez walks down Benavides, yeah, he's the truth. <laughs> I 